My apologies, Harish. My son had <laughs> called, and when he called, <laughs> it like totally okay. cut me from this. So, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm on Do Not Disturb right now, so <laughs> that should not happen again. Oh. So, ma'am, now you have joined. So, should I need to start recording or here is showing recording has started? Has it been automatically started? Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it automatically starts. Okay, okay. So, we would edit it. Yes. So, good evening, one and all. From my side, here is a palm ma'am with me. She just come from United States of America. So, how are you, ma'am? How are you doing? Good evening, Harish. I am doing fine. Thank you for asking. I mm -hmm. hope you are doing well also. Yeah. Thank you on this podcast. So I would be going to ask you some question related to culture and some differences. So ma'am, okay. my first question to you, like in which state from United States you do come from? I belong to the state called Illinois. Okay. It's kind of in the middle of the country. It, okay, it's a middle part of country. And yes. what is the speciality of your state? My state was uh, one of the states that Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, called oh. home. He actually was a senator here mm. uh, and a lawyer in Illinois mm. before he became president. Wow, really great. Abraham Lincoln came from U.S. State and he used to do work there. That's a precious thing which I got to know. And my next question, which I'm really proud of, uh, like, you know, as we know very well about the United States and recently it was in a trend, uh, gun culture, what this gun culture is? Well, according to the Constitution of the United States of America, we have the right to bear arms or to have mm -hmm. guns. Now, there is uh, legislation controlling that. So as far as being able to own a gun, you have to be 21. You mm -hmm. have to have a license. You have to take safety classes also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In light so, of the most recent shooting that was in Texas, that young man was 18 and he purchased his guns from a private seller, mm -hmm. which that is the only way he was able to legally purchase those guns. Okay. So what do you think about it? Does it good or not? How do I, you acknowledge? Well, I don't feel that there is enough um, regulations regarding gun control or gun ownership, mm -hmm. especially in the state of Texas. Um, they're a little bit more lenient on things like that because a lot of Texans actually carry weapons with them when they go places. Uh, Texas was one of those states that that's where cowboys were back in the old west and that was normal for them to have guns. Mm -hmm. But we have had, just since the beginning of this year, we have had over 213 mass shootings oh. in this country. And that, that averages out to be approximately 10 per week. Oh, my that's, God. That's too many. I mean, yeah, it's and, and the most recent thing, there were 19 children. Mm -hmm. One that was nine years old. 18 that were 10 years old and two teachers killed and the more there's more information coming out about that shooting that the officers were there for mm -hmm. 75 minutes before they did anything mm -hmm. the officers were keeping parents from going into the school to get their children they were actually arresting parents because the yeah. parents were trying to get into the school they yeah. were under orders not to engage. That was the wrong decision. Yeah. So Ma there's I a lot have, of information coming out. Yes, yes. I have heard a lot of time about such kind of the cases which come from United States. Most of the time, teenager can be seen in such kind of the cases mostly. What is reason behind it? Well, a lot of times if it's a teenager, 
or even as an adult, if they've done something like this, there's usually indications that something's going to happen. They've been bullied uh, by friends or so-called friends. They've been made to feel like they don't belong. Mm -hmm. Lots of things. It could even be due to how the parents have mm -hmm. raised their children. Um, this mm -hmm. most recent incident, there was no indications. He had never been in trouble. He had never done anything wrong. <laughs> it, it just was totally out of the blue. Okay. This was all about the gun culture. Now I do have some more questions, which I would like to take a look upon it. And the first question is related to some stereotype. We do have some stereotype. Being Indian, it is my responsibility to ask. Like what we think about the United States is that this must develop where uh, each and every people do use of remote control car and so many stuff like a robot they take use of robot so such kind of the uh, scene can be observed there or you guys are common like us who do um, no actually that's that's a misconception <laughs> um we do not have remote control cars okay we do, we do not have robots <laughs> that do things for us now <laughs> there may be some parts of society that may have that capability mm -hmm. but the majority of america does not have the money or mm -hmm. the means to have something like that so okay. no, that's a misconception mm -hmm. so guys i would like to tell you it's all about the misconception people are same even those people are the developed country now let's ask next question which all about health system what do you think about united states health system are you happy with it or not because you know what like what we think about it you guys are prosperous in terms of the health system what is your opinion being the person of united states uh, <laughs> yeah that's also another misconception uh my my outlook on the healthcare system here is that it is controlled by pharmaceutical companies and government. Mm -hmm. We have to have insurance in order to be able to even see a doctor. Mm -hmm. Like currently, I do not have health insurance. Oh. If, if, I, if I wanted to go, because we do not have universal health care, mm -hmm. we do not have free clinics, mm -hmm. no government hospital, nothing like that. Go hospitals are all private here. Mm -hmm. privately owned and normally most hospitals are actually owned by a religious organization which mm -hmm. i do not agree with mm -hmm. but so since i do not have insurance mm -hmm. if i want to go see my doctor like even mm -hmm. just a normal routine visit mm -hmm. it would cost me out of pocket mm -hmm. over 200 dollars to see my doctor Oh, that oh. that does mm -hmm. not include the cost mm -hmm. of any tests they might want to run. It mm -hmm. does not include the cost of the medicine that they're going to prescribe for me. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had insurance, mm -hmm. I would only have to pay at most mm -hmm. $30. Okay. Then the insurance company would pick up the rest of that. Mm -hmm. The same thing with the medicines. The insurance mm -hmm. companies have a prescription plan. So mm -hmm. you pay at most maybe $15 instead of over 100 or over $200 for medicine that you need. Okay. So the healthcare system here is totally messed up. Pharmaceutical mm -hmm. companies have too much control over mm -hmm. the cost of medicine. Insurance mm -hmm. companies control the cost of what doctors are charging. Mm -hmm. It's been brought to government uh, to have universal health care here. For some reason, my government thinks that we can't do that. But there are mm -hmm. how many other countries, Canada included, mm -hmm. has universal health care. Mm -hmm. Yes, they pay a higher tax. Okay. I would mm -hmm. be okay with that. I would be okay with paying a higher tax mm -hmm. if I had universal health care that was provided. And that also keeps a a cap it, it puts a limit on what mm -hmm. doctors can charge for everything yeah so, so it's the insurance 
or the the healthcare system here is messed up. I can say that in a nutshell, you are not fulfilled with this healthcare system. So what kind of the expectation you do have, as we know, you guys are developed guys, then what kind of the expectation which you do have with your government, what they could do in order I to make the system better and robust? Oh, there's so much my, more that my government could do. See, the government is supposed to be for the people, hmm. but it's not. It is more about big business and about taking care of big corporations. Hmm. When the pandemic hit, all the big corporations got a bailout. They got money. Hmm. They said they gave us citizens something. And yes, they did. They gave us what was called a stimulus check. Uh, three of them, actually. And yes, okay. that helped. But every year when government votes on the budget and everything, they slip into all of their stuff, their pay raises. Hmm. There's a video that I saw, and I think I shared it in the group. <laughs> uh, it was a, a, a lady, <laughs> and she was sharing about, you know, the cost of living, the cost of <laughs> being at poverty level, and <laughs> to get help from the government, a family of Three cannot make more than $21,000 in a year. <laughs> but yet, a government official is given an allowance for furniture for their office of $40,000. They can okay. spend taxpayers' money up to $40,000 to purchase desk, chair, cabinets, things like that. <laughs> but a family of three... If they mm -hmm. make more than $21,000, they can't get help. Mm -hmm. this, the government's messed up. Yeah, this this was the responsibility of government, but government didn't live upon it. And yeah. like, I want to ask you about an education system. What do you think about an education system which you guys do have? And next question would be linked up with it. And that question is the kind of, uh, you know, you guys are developed guys. What is the reason behind it? Why you are developed and other countries people are not getting proper development in their country okay so to answer your question about the education system for the most part we have good schools yeah. now if you're talking about schools like in the inner city of like chicago or new york those schools probably would not perform as well because they have less funding mm -hmm. private schools have private funding. So they have better facilities, they have better, better educational material. Um, I don't think that we're ranked very high mm -hmm. on education, though, because there are many other countries that are actually doing much better than we are to educate oh. our mm -hmm. students. Now, the mm -hmm. other thing that, you know, when I was in school, which was... <laughs> mm -hmm. Many, many, many years ago, we learned a lot more things about the world. Mm -hmm. But now, they don't teach as much about the different things in the world. You know, they teach things about here, but even when they're teaching about things here, they're leaving out a lot of things regarding mm -hmm. things that have happened in, in the country as far as the history of America. Mm -hmm. um, it's just... I, I think we could do a lot better than what we are now. I mean, we're definitely not ranked very high on the education level. Mm -hmm. uh, your next question. My uh, next can question. you repeat your, yeah, repeat that one, please. I, I wanted to ask, like, you guys are known as a developed, developed nation, superpower nation. What superpower you do have? And let, let, let me stretch this question. You know about uh, Area 51? Uh, some people <laughs> opine there are aliens. So those aliens are providing power to you. Well, there is an Area 51. I do believe, personally, I do believe <laughs> there are aliens there 
they are not providing power to us. Hmm. I think we've gotten technology from them. Mm-hmm. But as far as being a developed country, mm-hmm. we are because, you know, there's a lot more modern conveniences here. There are things in place to keep certain things from happening. You know, we have like, we have a garbage, you know, system mm-hmm. in place where if mm-hmm. we have garbage, it gets picked up and it gets put someplace. Mm-hmm. You know, there's very small amounts of litter. Here, like bags and things you know so that's gotten a lot better from when I was a child you know when I was a child it was normal oh just throw it out the window of your car <laughs> nobody cares but now everybody cares more about the environment mm-hmm. and it's not just government that did that it was mm-hmm. people that asked for that change mm-hmm. and the government complied now oh. as far as being a superpower Mm-hmm. Honestly, I don't feel that we are anymore. I think oh. there are countries that are more of a superpower than we are. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it used to For be... For instance, like which countries are a superpower instead of United States? Could oh, you mention? China. China, for oh. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they are. I, and I know China has gotten a lot of bad mm-hmm. press mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. of COVID. But honestly, Mm -hmm. I don't think China is the only one at fault there Mm -hmm. uh, because there's been other information come out about that. Um, And and I really, I don't think it's right to... You know, I I, I honestly wanted to ask you, what do you think about India, where we are standing right now, according to the people, those are there, what do they think about India? What do people think about India here in America? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Uh, I know. Well, I can't say what other people think. What I can tell you is that most Americans do not ever have contact with foreigners from any Mm -hmm. country because of Mm -hmm. where they live. You know, some places are isolated as far as, you know, if there's no university, Mm -hmm. there's no foreign students there. Mm -hmm. So if you live in that type of town, you're not going to be able to meet someone from another country. Yeah, and I can tell you. I mean, I, I'm I'm not your normal, typical mm-hmm. American, mm-hmm. but the majority of Americans, since since they don't encounter people mm-hmm. from foreign countries, mm-hmm. it's sad to say, but a lot of Americans actually don't like foreigners. Mm-hmm. Now, why mm-hmm. they don't like foreigners, I mm-hmm. honestly can't tell you. It could be because they talk differently, they look different, they dress different, they have mm-hmm. different philosophy, they have a different culture. Mm-hmm. But the problem is, as an American, if you never leave the comfort of your home, if you never leave the comfort of your country and go mm-hmm. out and experience visiting another mm-hmm. country, another culture, you will never mm-hmm. appreciate what you have. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually, mean, it's it can be in, in many places also in many territory which you are saying. <laughs> That's yeah. what I have also realized. So mm-hmm. my next question for you is related to English language in which we are speaking right now. When I said to my summer friend, I will be going to take podcast with a, a farm ma'am. So they were asking me, ask to her how we can speak like native speaker. Practice. So what tips you would like to give? Practice. <laughs> the thing is, you know, no matter, I mean, ideally, mm-hmm. if you can speak with a native speaker, whether mm-hmm. they're from America or from England, mm-hmm. if you are able to have that opportunity, take mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But appreciate their time. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. one, you have the time difference that's always an issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but, but listen, you know, listen to their voice. Listen mm-hmm. to how they pronounce words. But you do actually have to decide, do you want to do the American accent or do you want mm-hmm. to do the English accent? Because mm-hmm. we both speak English, but we say things a little differently. We pronounce words differently. Mm-hmm. But we also have words that mean different things in each country. 
Absolutely. But, but the thing is, no matter how much that I help everyone, <laughs> if the person I'm helping, if they don't practice, <laughs> they're not going to improve. It's no sad. matter how much I do to help <laughs> them, <laughs> it comes down to the individual <laughs> taking <laughs> the time, even if it's five minutes a day, <laughs> to practice, <laughs> then they will improve. But they have to make an effort also. What do you think, like, uh, do speak an accent, is it good? Or, uh, like, what is the proper way to speak English? Should we learn accent or it well, is see, like... Hmm. Here's the thing. Accent mm -hmm. is going to be how you speak in your country. So when I listen to you, I can tell that you're from India because of your accent. <laughs> when you listen to me, Mm -hmm. I don't have like a distinctive accent or mm -hmm. a distinctive sound because of the part of America I'm from. Mm -hmm. But if you were to talk to someone from the South, well, mm -hmm. oh, bless your heart. I am, I am so <laughs> pleased to talk with you today. Yeah. So there's a different mm -hmm. accent, a different mm -hmm. sound. Mm -hmm. It's pronunciation. Mm -hmm. It's, it's all to be pronunciation. Yes. It's, it's, right. it's mm -hmm. more about pronunciation. Mm -hmm. I have people ask me or tell me, I want to talk mm -hmm. like you. I want to have your accent. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, but don't lose your accent. Mm -hmm. That makes you who you are, where you're from. It makes mm -hmm. you unique. You can learn how to pronounce words like mm -hmm. we do here, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But why, why do you want to lose your voice, mm -hmm. your accent? Wow, and many times, cool. someone, if somebody wants to lose their accent, is because they don't want to be thought of as someone mm. from a specific mm. country. Mm. And so they work really hard. Mm. Yeah. It's really, really terrific thing which you said, ma'am. I would like to mention for the people those are unable to understand your accent as well. Like ma'am <laughs> ma ma was saying, doesn't matter. How do you speak? In which accent you are speaking? There only one thing which must be right. That is pronunciation. If you want to work upon something, so that is only and only pronunciation. Do not think about accent. Even if you are speaking in your own accent, that is right upon its own place. Am I right, ma'am? Yes, you are correct. Yeah. Ma'am, as we are come on the verge of this podcast i wanted to ask you what message at the end you want to give our listener well be willing to take that first step mm -hmm. when when you're trying something for the first time it's scary and it can be hard to do, but once you take the first step or in learning how to speak English, you take that first word, it gets mm. easier. So don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to take that first step and mm. just keep moving forward and, and stay positive. Don't mm. look at, I know a lot of people are so afraid to make a mistake grammatically mm -hmm. or in speaking, they're afraid. They don't want mm -hmm. people to mm -hmm. think bad of them. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Don't think that. Mm -hmm. Even if you make a mistake, mm -hmm. it's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. You may mm -hmm. have to make a mistake three times before you get the correct thing. Correct. But keep mm -hmm. moving forward. Mm -hmm. When I teach myself how to sing a song in Hindi, uh -huh. I'm not perfect. Mm. And when I'm singing, mm. especially when you're singing, if, if you're singing or even if you're speaking and you make a mistake, mm -hmm. don't acknowledge that. Mm. Because as soon as you stop and you acknowledge that you made a mistake, everybody will remember that. Mm. But... If you make a mistake, but mm -hmm. you keep going 
and you basically mm-hmm. brush it off and mm-hmm. you keep going like it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yes, there will be people that will remember it, mm-hmm. but there will be much more people remembering she moved on mm-hmm. and they won't even think about the mistake that you made. Same mm-hmm. thing when, when I sing. Mm-hmm. If I make a mistake, I have to keep singing because mm-hmm. if I don't, then I have to restart. And that's, you don't want to do that. Absolutely. And, and as, and as Hindi is not my native language, mm-hmm. I will make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And so I have to just keep moving forward and mm-hmm. I have to keep trying. So mm-hmm. that, that's what I would say is just keep moving forward, think positive and just don't stop learning. Mm-hmm. You know, there is a wonderful quote which says, like, man make mistake and mistake make man. Yes. Yeah. And now, what are you doing, ma'am? Are you, doing, are you working upon any project? Oh, uh, well, I have some stones that I need to work on getting polished mm-hmm. and some jewelry designing to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, currently reading the book Gulliver Tra- Gulliver's Travels in my oh, chat cool. group. So Mm -hmm. we are, I think, almost done with that book. We've got, I think, Mm -hmm. three chapters left. Um, And I'm just helping those in my chat group to help improve their English. Mm -hmm. And this is a personal question. It would be our last question, which I'm going to ask. What do you think about my English? How it is? Uh, I think overall you have a good grasp of the English language. There are occasionally uh, some words that are missing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's a minor thing, mm-hmm. um, and it does not make you any less understood. I still understand mm-hmm. everything that you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, just in the English language, when we are speaking, there mm-hmm. are specific words that we actually use in mm-hmm. conjunction in order to make a correct sentence. Um, All right, but. Overall, you do, you speak very good. Wow. It's my pleasure, ma'am, for telling me what is the truth of my English. And I do appreciate it because I, I, I'm fortunate. I have you and you, came, you come on my podcast. That's a spectacular thing, which I personally appreciate. And thank you very much, ma'am, in order to give you a valuable time. And I would like to do thanks to all who all will be going to watch our this podcast. Thanks a lot, ma'am. You are most welcome, Harish.